Hey guys, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and a whole bunch of other sites. So, some of you know that I've been writing a book recently. Well, I just finished writing it for a publisher, and the book should be out in stores in April 2015, so I'm told. Anyhow, in the process of writing the book, and it's a book on HTML, CSS, HTML5, CSS3, and some JavaScript. It's a beginner's book on code. It's very code-centric, though. Um, I also get into a bit into Bootstrap and jQuery because they're such important frameworks today. Anyway, in the process of writing the book, I was forced to really review modern-day web design. As you, you may know, I've been building websites since 1994, and every few years, things change, the technology advances and so forth. And to be totally honest, you, honest with you, in the mid-2000s, I, um, I kept my hands a little bit into the whole web development arena. But, you know, after so many years, I got a bit bored, burnt out, left it. I came back a few years ago. Uh, but nonetheless, I, in writing the book, what I discovered that there was a few things where I was uh, still a little bit behind on in terms of, uh, especially modern day web design. What I found interesting was that uh, being away from it in terms of really not paying attention to trends and so forth, I sort of lost sight about what was cutting edge design, what was modern design. Uh, versus what wasn't. It's kind of weird. And our, a couple of my assistants would tell me, Steph, you know, we should be uh, updating killer PHP, killer sites, because the look is a little dated. And I look at it, well, it's not so dated. But then after I wrote the book, well, writing, getting into writing the book, where I was really forced to really look at things closely, it became painfully obvious to me that we had entered a new cycle in terms of the design aesthetic of uh, modern websites. So I call it a panel-based design, as in panels on the side of a wall, perhaps. So I'm going to take a look now. We're going to look at a whole bunch of sites. We're going to compare old style, which you still see a lot of, even in prominent sites, versus the new panel-based layouts, which are much more open and uh, much easier to navigate, in my opinion. And uh, so take a look at that. I think you'll find it interesting. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look at uh, a bunch of sites. Well, a bunch. We'll take a look at a few sites just to get a, a view of uh, modern web design. So this is the Android site. Notice the big panels, big panels. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about panel-based design. Another thing about this design is that it, it's responsive. It flexes and resizes itself for the device that's, or the device that's viewing it or, the, you know, more precisely, the screen size or the browser window size. This is a common hamburger stack here, this three, these three lines here. That's a common menu style these days. You see it in the browsers, right? This is Firefox. It has it here. If you look at uh, Web Mentor, my subscription-based service, again, same type of thing, responsive design. It reflows automatically into uh, uh, for the screen size, the browser window size. Again, we get the hamburger menu style thing. That's all done with Bootstrap, by the way, uh, which is a framework for building websites, for building responsive websites. The responsive websites, again, are websites that resize automatically. Now, that being said, some very prominent sites, such as the New York Times, for whatever reasons, is not responsive. Look at that. It does not resize the fit. Now, this is less of an issue these days, especially when you're using modern smartphones. will will load perfectly fine. New York Times will load perfectly fine in any modern smartphone. Uh, although, you know, Web Mentor will load much more, uh, much more effectively because it actually, all the pictures change and everything. So just to give you a feel, this is very modern design, very 2015, as is the Android site. They got a nice little parallax effect here going here. Let's try, uh, I don't know, go to Apple site, apple.ca. So there's no scrolling here, let's just go to the store. 
So they're doing it again. The big panels, big panels, right? Horizontal panels. It was interesting. I don't know if this is responsive. It's somewhat responsive. See, it's resizing the images a little bit. But then it says, that's it. We're not going anymore. So it's, it's, it's interesting design decision Apple made to be responsive, but only to shrink a little bit. Like, they don't even shrink this top images for some reason or the menu again they probably count on the fact that most smartphones will be able to display this quite fine so let's compare these panel styled layouts that we see here versus old school web design so here it is killersites.com now killersites.com this layout was designed I guess about four years ago, maybe 2011. I'm not sure. It could be longer. It could be a year shorter. I'm not sure. But nonetheless, it's old school design. It was cutting edge in its day. And you see it too does not resize. It's not responsive. But it's kind of like Apple site. You know, Apple site does not resize itself as well. Even at this, this is the max that it will shrink by. This one, perhaps in here. Oh, see, even those images are not shrinking. So, I don't know. It's uh, Apple is one of the sites that people look to in terms of design cues, but I still think that uh, a responsive design like this that resizes the images and so off, so forth is a better uh, style. Although it's not perfect. This car is not resizing very well. Anyway, so there you go. Old school design style one, well, killer PHP, same thing. We're about to, uh, well, actually, we are now. We're, we're re revamping, restyling all the old killer sites. So if we look, uh, for instance, CSS tutorial, it was more, uh, it's a little closer perhaps to the panel based design that we see these days. I like guess, kind of, sort of. But uh, you can see, hopefully, you can start to see the difference between old school layout versus uh, new style. This is kind of a hybrid, if you will. Again, it was made a little bit after uh, the current Killer Sites layout, for instance. So anyway, so I hopefully by you seeing various uh, websites, you start to see the difference between old school sites and new sites. And um, yeah, there's one thing about all these new sites is that uh, huge images, right? Web Mentor, we have one big huge image that we use here. Uh, so there you go. I hope that's informative. This is a kind of a buggy thing. So I hope that's informative. I hope you can see the difference between new styled sites versus old styled, old styled sites. And uh, we'll be addressing this more and more and more with the new courses that are coming out soon. Ciao.